It's Dr. Timothy Quinn, and Dr. Quinn, you've got some, uh, not only insight, but you say you've got some good news for us. What do you got? Well, I have good news for a change. The good news is if we are getting more and more people diagnosed with coronavirus, and I must reveal that a great part of that is due to the fact that we're now testing and we're identifying those individuals and separating them from the population so more people can be safe but we're also getting a lot of people to recover. We've been testing for a long enough period of time now that we can really, really interpret how many people are going to be um, affected to the point where they lose their life. And we are having some deaths, but it's, the deaths are a lot less than the number of people being diagnosed, which means that the majority of people are recovering and, and doing well. What can people expect if they're diagnosed with coronavirus? Just a typical case of it. They want somebody who's not going to die, but, but somebody who's going to get ill with this. Uh, what's, what's it like to have this? Well, I mean, the deal is, to my understanding, you're asking, you know, why do some people have a worse case scenario than others? And a lot of it has to do with the fact that as we look at the people who are losing their lives, where it's a fatal diagnosis, a lot of these people have uh, compromised immune systems and they also have advanced age, which means they can't fight it off as well as a young person. And the, the good news is a lot of our seniors, our elderly people, they even have good immune systems if they take good care of themselves, you know, good lifestyle um, modifications and following up with their doctors taking medications. But the take home message is, and what we want people to understand is, COVID-19 or coronavirus infection is not necessarily a death sentence. And as we continue to educate our community and get more people to recover and put that information out there, it can help some people relax a little bit and not feel so much anxiety, feeling that they're gonna lose their life if they go to the grocery store and helping them understand that most people that get this infection, they recover and they live just fine. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Is what's it like for the people who get it and recover? I mean, are they, are they feel rotten? Is it like the flu or is, is it different? And if so, in what way is it different? Well, I mean, the, the research is, is uh, being released every day. New information is presenting uh, through the scientific literature. And the majority of these people that are recovering, they're recovering um, pretty much with no residual symptoms or anything. I mean, they're recovering 100%. Wow. Another good thing about it is once you've contracted the uh, coronavirus and you recover, you've now built antibodies in your bloodstream. So if you come into contact with this virus again, you now have a defense system and you can fight it off. And in a lot of cases, it's not yet confirmed, but the science is really saying that there's a good chance that it's gonna be hard to get that specific strain of that virus again at least you have some protection now. Okay, so it's not a death sentence if you get uh, the diagnosis and lots of people are recovering from this. It's just a, it depends on your, I guess, your, your uh, uh, defense mechanism, whether you're gonna fight it off or whether you need some assistance in fighting it off. Is that about right? That is correct, but we still have to remember to practice uh, social distancing and I call it social responsibility. Yeah. Because most young people, if they get this infection, they'll recover and be fine. But the problem is they serve as carriers and then they might go visit their grandmother or visit uh, an uncle or an aunt and then they're exposing that senior person to this infection and that senior person might not have the same immune system and they can't fight it off as well. So we're not telling people to be irresponsible and hey, let's go out and go to the bar, or go, go, you know, forget about social distancing. Sure. Let's still practice social distancing because not only are we being responsible for ourselves, but we're being responsible for a society in a whole. Let's continue to practice social distancing and social responsibility. Thank you, Dr. Quinn. We'll do that. I'll fist bump you next time I see you too, okay? <laughs> hey, Thank we gotta you. Take a break.